Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for June 12th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else to appreciate. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, let's get right to it, see what Spirit has for you today. Should I do it? Yeah. All right. I guess we're taking that one, actually. Okay, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. Show me that Virgo energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. One, two, three, there we go. First house. All right, in the past, we have the Gardener and Cultivation card, okay? So I'm going to read the Gardener and Cultivation card for you, Virgo, okay? Mm -mm. In addition to nurturing the growth of plants and trees, what else are you cultivating in your life? Are you sowing seeds of love and care, nurturing these with your blessings and intention? Are you paying attention to how you affect others? Do you support their growth emotionally, mentally, and spiritually? What about yourself? Are you tending to your own personal garden, allowing it to flourish in ways that support your spiritual growth and awareness? It's time to examine ways you ignore or inhibit your spiritual growth and take measures that will cultivate your soul's path. Grow a plant from seed and observe how you feel when you pay consistent attention to this living being's needs. Sing to her, water her, send your prayers, and watch what happens, okay? So at some point in the past here, Virgo, it's looked like, it looks like spirits asking if you're actually being there for yourself and checking in for yourself or not clarify this past situation for virgo please holy spirit holy angel show me the cards that i need to see let me get one more four one two three four there we go tower yeah it looks like you went you might have went through some kind of tower moment oh wow so that like really really relates okay so it looks like you might have had it gone through, you might have had to go through a tower moment at some point here in the past, Virgo, because you were giving a lot to the people around you and you weren't really giving to yourself. So you had to be able to pull your energy back to stop giving to the people around you so that way you could start giving to yourself again, okay? Or maybe for the first time, okay? The Hermit is Virgo energy. You have this Ten of Pentacles here, which means that you could have been in a committed relationship or something all right there might have had to maybe even possibly be an end to a relationship here for you virgo in order for you to kind of figure out or like see for yourself that you are giving too much to the people around you and not giving enough to yourself so something had to happen here in order to shake things up because the tower card is a shock to the system so let's clarify this past situation for virgo please holy spirit holy angels what do we got going on here one two three four there we go Page of Swords reversed, the Moon reversed, okay. The Emperor reversed, King, oh my God, it's, everything's going to come out reversed, okay. <clears throat> there might have been some kind of deception that was revealed to you, uh, Virgo. So you might have found out about something that you really didn't want to find out about. Okay, it looks like you could have been dealing with a person that was like looking at other people or looking towards a past person. 
all right while they while they were like together with you okay you have this king of cups reversed and the emperor reversed which means there's some kind of like um emotional like um emotional uh what would you call it manipulativeness like they were manipulating you emotionally or they were just some kind of like bad leader or bad like um some kind of overbearing person um immature okay they just weren't good at what they do maybe it was like um someone that was supposed to lead the household and they were bad at it what we got going on here six of cups and the four of swords reverse like you were kind of burning yourself out with how much that you were giving to this situation virgo okay you were just giving and giving and giving to it like as much as you could and the only thing this did was like got you on burnout mode okay you were like just just all the way out okay of energy here you were like just broken down clarify this past situation for virgo please like giving you no time to rest and recuperate clarify the past situation for virgo please holy spirit holy angels what we got going on here ship and hammer okay wow surprise cutting ties moving on receive what you need progression and arriving okay and then the hammer says sabotage and rebuild persistent working on it repairing okay so i feel like there's definitely something here that had to end for you virgo okay in order for you to really just lock in and see uh that you're giving too much to the people and the situations around you and you needed to put that energy back into yourself okay so in the present we have the <laughs> that's not what i'm looking for In the present, we have the Elemental Empath card. It says Awareness, okay? This is Air, I think. All right. Awareness is one of the most important aspects of our healing journey. If we don't understand ourselves and see things as they truly are, instead of just through our limited view... We will forever be stuck in the same cycles and patterns. Our mind creates beliefs and illusions for us to live in to keep us safe. It gains beliefs about the world and ourselves from our upbringing and life experiences. And in order to keep us safe, it puts up blocks to keep us from going in unsafe directions. Most people aren't aware of the box they live in or the ways in which they believe or the ways in which they behave to stay safe. Most of it is unconscious. The mind is doing its best to keep us safe. Unfortunately, it ends up sabotaging us from the life that we really want, which is usually beyond our set comfort zone, okay? I feel like you're gaining a new level of awareness at this time in the present, Virgo, okay? Clarify this present situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what we got going on here? What is it that Virgo is becoming aware of? Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four, there we go. Ten of Wands, you're being aware or you're becoming aware of some kind of weight or burden that you've been carrying around for some time. At one point, this could have been what you wanted, okay? And I feel like at one at one point, uh, you did want this, and then after you got it, you realize that this is like something that you, it's just like becoming a burden to have to carry it around all the time, okay? Clarify the present situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what we got going on here? One, two, three, four, there we go. King of Cups six of wands and the six of swords reverse so some of you might have decided not to move on from someone okay like maybe you're looking at the positive aspects of someone okay and it could be someone that you work with or like a boss or something like that for some of you it might be a job i would say okay it's like you're looking at all the positive aspects and there is probably some kind of good reason to be where you are in this situation virgo but at the same time, something that you haven't moved on from is keeping you stuck, okay? Because of this 10 of wands, it's like weighing you down, all right? So it's like you're aware of it, you can see it, all right? But at the same time, you haven't really moved on from it, okay? You're feeling kind of stuck or like you're in a stalemate whenever it comes to something here. Now, this is, you know, it could be like a person, um, romantic situation, a partnership here, someone that maybe makes you happy, but it could also possibly be a job because the six of wands represents a victory, Okay, usually a victory in work or something that you've been working a lot on, or um, some kind of uh, 
I keep wanting to say attention, but it's like recognition. You're getting some kind of recognition for something that you've been doing here. At the same time, it's kind of a way. Clarify this present situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. There we go. Page of Wands. Okay. Page of Pentacles in the reversed. Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So there's a lot of people here popping out Virgo. For some of you, you could have kids or a kid or someone or something here. Um, it has to do with children, all right? You could be feeling like you want to take action on your goals here. You have some kind of goals that are in place and you want to take action on it. But for some reason, Virgo, there's something holding you back, telling you that if you do that, then what you've already been doing is going to be a waste or wasted, all right? Like you're just giving something up. All right, you have that seven of wands as well, which means you might be dealing with some kind of obstacles with people or things around you. Um, but it's like you hold the high ground here, okay? It's like you can see that if you take a certain route here, Virgo, that there's going to be challenges ahead and you're not sure how you feel about that. You can see the challenges, but you're not sure how you feel about the outcome. It's like maybe you're not sure if you can be able to take these challenges head on, okay? You have the Knight of Swords, okay, which means like an unstoppable force, which means that you're most likely going to do whatever it is that you need to do either way, okay? You are strong, energetic, and ready to take on the world, okay? But at the same time, there's just a little bit of uh, analyzing here going on, and you're like, you know what? I ain't really sure about all that. Let me get two more cards. King of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Swords reversed. Uh, you could also be finding out, Virgo, about someone in your energy that did you wrong, okay? Uh, this could be someone that you are married to or were married to, all right, um, with some kind of deception revealed. It could possibly be that someone t took something from you that was like a uh, monetary value and they're giving it back, like you're getting something, you're receiving something back that has been taken from you. For some of you, it might be that, all right? If it's not that, it's just that you're finding out about someone or some kind of situation here where someone did you wrong, okay? Oh, let me sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, clarify this present situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what we got going on here? You know what? I usually have a... Um... There it is. If you're wondering, yes, this is my bed. I had a switch my room around okay so now my room is switched around but now i had to change the desk around because i don't have no i don't have enough room on that side so so i put my desk up against my bed and here we go here we are okay clarify the present situation for virgo please holy spirit and holy angels what we got going on here one two three four there we go love call and then Cupid's arrow. So somebody that you were in love with or they're still in love with you, somebody, there's some kind of love going on here. It says expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Like I said, some kind of information is going to be revealed probably about someone that did something wrong or someone that feels um, bad about a situation, okay? Somebody that you separated from that feels bad about doing you wrong or doing something wrong, something's going to be revealed here. Virgo, okay? You have Cupid's arrow as well, which says, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, and struck by love. Okay, so somebody might be revealing how they feel to you, I would say. What's up, baby? All right, in the future, we have the first house. Okay, this is ruled by Aries. Some of you might have Aries somewhere in your chart, or you might be dealing with an Aries. This says, I am, the great I am at the bottom, Okay. This is the house of the self and identity. Here is where we can see one's personality, behavior, character, physical appearance, as well as their attitude towards life. It starts with the sign known as the Ascendant, okay? I am. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries, like I said, or something about your first house might be significant, Virgo, okay? Clarify this future situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo. One, two, three, four. There we go. Three of Cups. Some of you might have a reason to celebrate here in the future. This could also represent pregnancy, so I just want to throw that out there. If you're not trying to get pregnant at this time, Virgo, maybe take proper precautions. Clarify the future situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three. The Hangman Reverse and the Eight of Wands. One more. Let me get one more. Four. One, two, three, four. There we go. 
Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy again, okay? So it's, look, it's looking here like, Virgo, you are possibly or probably celebrating, okay, with people around you, family or friends, all right? Um, you have the Eight of Wands, which means, think, <clears throat> which means that things are coming in very quickly for you. You have the Hangman and the Reversal, which is like looking at life um, in a positive outlook or a new perspective, or you're like having a positive attitude. And you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is again, independent energy. Um, but also like you're happy with your passion for life. You're happy with the wealth that you do possess, whether it be a lot or a little. Okay, so you have a lot of things to be happy for and you're looking at life um, really in the best way possible. You have a positive outlook on life, okay? It's like things are also manifesting for you very quickly. Clarify this future situation for Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what we got going on here? One, two, three, four, there we go. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. The full card, the Hierophant in the reverse, and the Three of Wands. It looks like for some of you, okay, you might have had to think outside of the box whenever it comes to something here. Some of you might have quit a job in order to um, become like your own boss in one way or another. Okay, maybe you have a platform that is monetized or you have like a shop or you have um, your own business that you're running in one way or another because you have that Three of Wands here which means that you put a lot of work and effort into something here, Virgo, and you're like waiting on the return profits. These ships that are sailing away from the bay are um, full of product, okay? And the person's waiting here for the ships to get to where they're going, the merchandise to be sold off, and then they're waiting on the return profits of it, okay? You have the full card, which is like a new start or a new beginning here, and you have the Hierophant in the reverse, okay? Uh, which is thinking outside of the box whenever it comes to something, okay? You're thinking outside the box. So maybe doing things that are a little bit uh, different. They're not like traditional methods of working or doing something here, but it looks to me like this is work. It looks like you're happy with what you have going on. You might have actually like quit a job in order to become your own boss, so to speak, in one way or another. You're take, taking a leap of faith and you're waiting patiently, okay? You're looking at life as positively as you can. We have the death in the reverse and the four of wands, okay? Which means there's some kind of stagnation or sameness here around you, okay? Um, it could be a person that you're dealing with or it could be a family member or something. What's that death card? I'm going to pull one more card on that. What is the death card? Reverse the hermit, okay? Um, so for, for some of you, it's like you're staying to yourself here. You may be staying in your own energy. You're showing up as yourself again with the hermit card, so... It's like you're celebrating, but I feel like you're also like doing things in a way that you know works, okay? For some of you, you might be um, having some kind of victory whenever it comes to a family or starting something new here, okay? Celebrating, uh, having a new f a home or uh, some kind of stable life uh, or family situation here, Virgo. But it looks like, you know, it's like what you do personally by yourself works and it's like you're not changing that, okay? You're keeping that the same but you're having some kind of new start in life here. So it's looking, I mean, I don't know how I feel. Death in the reverse is usually like some kind of stuck or stagnant energy, but all the rest of this looks good. So it looks to me like there's one thing that you're doing the same that you know works, but the rest of this is still changing for you in a positive way, okay? Clarify this future situation for Virgo, please. One, two, three, four, there we go. We have self-indulgence and seduction. Self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, okay? I don't know. It looks like you have a new start to like a, a love situation or a family situation here, but um, I don't know because that it's kind of giving me two different vibes here where you have the option to have a new start or the option to stay to yourself and you're having to choose here. You have seduction as well, which is attraction, teasing, hooking up, and date, third party, temptation, okay? I don't know. If you start a new relationship here, Virgo, at some point in the future, I would be careful because it looks like there's a third party that's going to come in and try to seduce you. But at the same time, uh, that would most likely be a test by spirit if um, I have anything to say about it because uh, I don't know about that, okay? Especially if you're just starting a relationship. You should know what to do, okay? Don't be starting no relationships if you're going to be fucking around, Okay. <laughs> Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you. I did add more to Big Bubba Mac, so he's a little bit, a little bit bigger now than he usually is. All right, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, 
Big Bubba Mac, show me the cards that I need to see for Virgo today, please. We have Perseverance is called for, okay? So there's something here about pushing through, Virgo, okay? You need to have patience whenever it comes to pushing through, even if it's difficult, okay? Some kind of perseverance is called for here. What else? One, two, three, four. We have pregnancy. Okay, that Three of Cups came out, and I was thinking that Three of Cups can be a pregnancy card. So maybe you could be dealing with an actual pregnancy, or you could be pregnant with a new idea or something like that. Some kind of pregnancy is significant here, Virgo. Okay. What else? I am. One, two, three, four. We have P. Someone's first one over last name could start with a P. Yours or theirs. We have purpose perseverance pregnancy and p we got a lot of p's out here so far someone's first one over last name can start with a p yours or theirs okay what are you waiting for spirit's asking what you're waiting for okay there's something that you can be taking action on right now what else one two three four we have x marks the spot but this is ex okay so for some of you out here there's some kind of situation with your ex going on here that could be the person that's coming in trying to seduce you in the future i will watch out okay we have a Libra. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra, or you might have a Libra somewhere in your chart. Or something about Libra is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. We have four of the streets. Yeah. You got somebody that's four of the streets here. I would be careful here, Virgo. Okay. Be careful. Be careful what you wish for. What else? We have dark. Somebody could have a dark energy attachment on them. Some of you might be of dark skin and complexion. Something about dark is significant here. We got brother. It could be something to do with your brother, or you might have a brother that's a Libra, or something about someone's brother is significant here. What else for Virgo? Okay, micromanage. Somebody could be trying to micromanage you, all right? Or you're trying to micromanage someone. Something about micromanage is significant here, Virgo. Somebody has that micromanaging energy about them. <laughs> Something like that. One, two, three, four. We have 1010. You could be seeing 1010 a lot. All right, this is a spiritual awakening and discovering inner wisdom. You could be finding this out, Virgo, after you pull your energy back a lot. Okay, you're discovering something about yourself or the people around you or something like that. One, two, three, four. We have drink more water. You're being guided to drink more water at this time. Okay, <laughs> that will help you just in general, I would say. Okay, we have libido. You are looking good, smelling good. Something about your sex drive is high at this time, Virgo. Okay. What else for Virgo, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. They look good. Okay, yeah. It's There's some kind of like, uh, sed like with the seduction card here and your libido. I feel like this is like a, this is just a test. Okay, I don't know. It's kind of people working out of their lower chakras. So I would just be careful with that. One, two, three, four. They're going to look good to you, whoever this person is. But at the same time, you need to know, you know, do what's best for you. We have clear courts, okay? Enhances mental clarity, aid in emotional stability, used during manifestation, increased focus, helps clear the mind to see truths in situations or new perspective, okay? So um, clear courts might be significant for you to work with at this time. One, two, three, four. We have shame. Someone's feeling shameful about something they did or you are something about shame is significant here virgo let me get two more one two three four you check in on everyone else except no you check in on everyone else but do you check on yourself and this is like really relating to the past that came out virgo okay something had to end in order for you to really check in on yourself okay so that's something that I would recommend doing or continuing to do if you finally are at that point now. Check in on yourself, all right? Don't be checking in on everyone else all the time. We have Bubba Listen. Okay, this is supposed to be the last card. Somebody wants you to listen to them or you want someone to listen to you. Let me get three cards from the back. You're an empath. Whoever I'm speaking to, Virgo, you're an empath most likely, okay? <laughs> is there something you can do about it right now? So if yes, do it. If not, don't do it, but you need to figure out if there's something that you can do about it right now. We have hot and spicy, some kind of hot and spicy situation coming in. Virgo, somebody's really interested in you sexually, okay? All right, Virgo, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. 
Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated, and it does help out the channel, all right? If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, all the information about that will be in the description box below, all right? Um, be sure to check out New Age Lifestyle Shop while you're down there, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.